Hi, I'm Anthony Rommel and welcome to CG for Me. So I've finished off this pig rig and I'm ready to, uh, at least I've set the joints, I'm ready to build controls for it. Um, now I've spent all this time properly orienting the joints. So it only stands to reason that I show you some of the things that are necessary to have, why we have controls and why we have joint orientation. So I'm going to do, save this file and start a new one. And I'm going to create a joint chain. And it doesn't matter how they're oriented because I am going to orient it accordingly. I'm going to make it just a little shorter. Let's say that size, maybe one less. And um, I want to show you a few things about joints. I'm going to select the hierarchy here. Now, a, a few things that the animators have to be able to do is they have to be able to zero out joints. So I was showing you how to set a joints using rotation. I'll later freeze the transformations. But for right now, I wanted to show you how it works. So I'm rotating this joint. You can see the rotation values changing. I can rotate this joint. And let's say I'm an animator and I'm going through and I'm rotating all these joints here just like this. And that's nice and dandy, but what if as an animator I wanted to reset it? Generally, animators select all of these attributes and type in zero. So I typed in zero, and you could see what happened. The system reset itself in an odd way. Now the reason for that is that joints can't be reset. Joint, you can't freeze joints transformation. You can freeze their rotate values, which we'll do later to, uh, to change those two orient values. So um, right now I'm going to leave this joint chain the way it is because I want to be able to animate it. But I'm going to need controls because these can't be zeroed out the way controls can be zeroed out. So I'm going to go to uh, create, and I'm going to create a NURBS primitive. And I'm going to create a circle. And I'm going to use this as a control. So I'm going to hit D. I'm going to hit V and snap it. And duplicate it and create another one and snap it until I have a control for every joint. Now, one thing to note about controls is that that are different than joints. Joints have two types of values. So I'm going to show you in the attribute editor. If I rotate this joint, it has two types, basically two types of rotation. So it has rotation and it has joint orientation. And joint orientation is right here. So if I change this orient value, say to negative 100 instead of 89, you can see it rotated it. That's one of the nice things about joints is it has the two forms of rotation. One being rotate value, which you have a widget for. And the other one, joint orientation, which is the initial value that a joint is set for rotation or its initial rotated position. One thing about joint orientation, it doesn't have a widget. So we use joint orientation to set a rig in its first position. And we use rotation for animation. Now, because Maya is limited in a way that it makes it difficult in that um, joints can't be reset, but controls can, we use controls. So let's say, let me just demonstrate this. Let's say I rotate this object, and I like its rotation value, and I like the way it looks, and I want this to be its new default position. You can see I have rotate values and I have orient values. Well, what I can do with this joint is I can say modify and freeze transformations, and it's going to push all the rotation information out, zero them, and move them into the orient values. And as you can see, it reoriented the joints. Now, controls, let me just show you one one. I'm going to show its local rotation axis. If I rotate it, and decide I like this position the best and freeze its transformations. 
you can see it's going to reset the local rotation axis. The reason for this is joints push the rotation information into joint orientation. These are the only objects that have joint orientation. So, because this doesn't have joint orientation, it simply resets the local rotation axis. So what do we do about it? Let me show, first of all, turn on the local rotation axis of all of these. And what we do is we create a group node for each of these controls. And we use that group node to become, to act as if it were joint orientation.